Kentucky and reporting that everything that WWCR broadcast comes in well for him. I believe it was in West Virginia. Uh, this is followed by uh, another message from Frank Rich. Again, your firm foundation. And uh, he's just simply stating. Uh, well, back, uh, welcome back to Adam Sam Radio. Yeah, we're just listening to uh, WWCR in Nashville, Tennessee here, see what's uh, what they're talking about. Last week, uh, more requests from listeners all over this past week. Arizona, Texas, West Virginia, North Carolina, Massachusetts, Bob, uh, Boston suburbs, and from my website, I email MP3s to who knows where. So, all over the world. Uh, that was in one week. That's excellent stuff. Your firm foundation, Frank Ricks, I believe it's Sundays. The current frequency is 9.350 megahertz. Sundays, 6 p.m. Central. Make sure you visit WWCR.com if you're able to do so. And look at our transmitter schedule and also the program guide, which we keep current at the first of every month. Uh, if you're not able to do that, just write us a letter and send it. We'll give the address at the close of the broadcast. But write us a letter and request that we send you one the old-fashioned way, uh, postal mail. We still do that, too. We well, sometimes get a lot of requests, especially when we have uh, frequency change season, um, particularly over the holidays. It seems like a lot of listeners enjoy uh, their time over the holidays listening to shortwave. So there are some really busy times. We try to keep up with that, but we always ask for your uh, kindness with WWCR to give us the time that we need to get those letters and uh, reception report verifications back to you. But we do work hard to do that. I want to go to another very, very uh, popular broadcast on shortwave, and that is VORW International. And something that I have not yet mentioned over the past couple of months, uh, there have been many other things to discuss. And, been some programs that probably played uh, for well over the two-week uh, course by design and uh, by necessity. But I do want to mention that VORW International has added Saturdays at 1 a.m. Central, that's 0600 UTC, at 4840, 4.840 megahertz. Saturdays, 1 a.m. Central. And uh, that was that was very much by design. Get it later at night and uh, try to serve folks west of the Mississippi River uh, here domestically in North America uh, to include Canada, Mexico, and beyond. And uh, it was determined after some consideration that the best way to do that was to uh, broadcast later in the evening. Uh, I do want to note before we get into some of this reception. Uh, reports that uh, the program is also still being broadcast 4840 on Sundays at 11 p.m. Central at 0400 UTC. So some of these reports are going to reference 4840, 4840 kilohertz, 4.840 megahertz, uh, all 4840 just sort of shortened. Uh, WWCR could be either of these days. Uh, Saturdays 1 a.m. Central, 0600. Sundays 11 p.m. Central, 0400. And just scanning down, uh, I do see uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And this is this is uh, for one week. Again, one week's uh, broadcast yields this uh, pretty substantial amount of uh, listener response. Uh, Pennsylvania, Colorado, uh, Alberta, Canada. Long Island, New York, Ohio, uh, Michigan, uh, Montreal, Virginia, Alabama, uh, again in the United States, uh, Maryland, Ontario, Canada, uh, San Diego, California. I think that the respondent here in San Diego, California is a very frequent listener. I feel like uh, that person is quick to respond, and maybe there are several, but I feel like Maybe there's one person who responds uh, to each show uh, weekly. And I'm looking at the, there are several pages here. I uh, was looking for one that I have just laid eyes on that caught my attention. 
from Corpus Christi, Texas. And he says, great reception on 4840 kilohertz, both Friday and Saturday night broadcasts. Those Sunday and Monday seem to have a lot, I'm sorry, seem to have a slight more propagation disturbance and or interference, but still outstanding. I really like hearing you on 4840. On Sunday nights, you come on right after FKB radio sermon time with Ken, and I have a hard time saying his last name, I'm going to say for instance, but it's still not quite accurate, FKB sermon time. He says he's really good, I like him a lot, and then Zeth Daniel from the Zeth Report, also on 4840 Sundays, very early in the morning, I think 2 a.m. Central, and that's interesting because this, one of those programs is just, uh, it's a recorded program, but it was done live over the phone, and it's just an hour of just strong preaching, and then uh, the Zeth Report is a very produced program. Uh, it's, it's a little bit unique. I think even the host of VORW is a fan of that show. And uh, those, those programs are, are very different, I would say, in terms of uh, presentation. And I thought it was neat that this person uh, mentioned both, in addition to listening to VORW. So, uh, the overnights, what's overnight for us here in Nashville from the broadcast site uh, are, are pretty popular, uh, particularly on the weekends. There's some uh, good mix of programming, uh, and now we're going to add another ALRW broadcast. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know the the idea of adding this really third broadcast, but the second on 4840, was to better serve listeners uh, west of the Mississippi River. And uh, he had another one here from uh, California, uh, a couple from California. So it looks like it's in Simi Valley, Anaheim, and then uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, which is, you know, obviously north of uh, Seattle, Washington, and Canada, uh, northwest, for sure, long travel from Nashville, Tennessee. And so the point of this is that we're doing this late at night, uh, so the plane, lower frequencies will travel better. And we're coming up on a time, uh, as we're recording today, and uh, on the first day of fall, uh, the days are getting shorter. So we're going to have more hours of darkness. And uh, when it's completely dark across greater stretches of area, land, uh, those lower frequencies are going to perform better. That's just the nature of it. Uh, of those frequencies. The higher frequencies are going to do better in the daytime, the lower are going to do better at night. And so we predict that these lower frequencies and the mid frequencies that we use, the those in the fives, sixes, um, sevens, in the period of uh, sort of sunrise until full sunlight, and in the period of uh, afternoon into darkness, those sort of mid-frequencies uh, we think are going to do very well. They always have in the past. And then we're going to find that the lower frequencies like 48, 40, 32, 15, 58, 90, and 5935 will be excellent to listen to um, in the late night hours. Uh, and I really want to retract that and say because of the fall and winter season, it doesn't even have to be late night at this point. Just maybe evening in areas where it's dark and it's been dark for a little while not to confuse but i wanted to provide some good information about reception from a couple of different broadcasters give you some news about the addition of vorw and wanted to make mention of course of our uh, co-host and friend dr jerry Plummer, uh, who passed away and was given this award at the last meeting of the hfcc until next time, for show 566, I'm Brady Murray. Ask WWCR is a bi-weekly presentation of WWCR Incorporated. If there are questions you would like to have answered during the show, send them to Ask WWCR, 1300 WWCR Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee, 37218 USA. You can also send an email to Ask WWCR.
WCR at WWCR.com. No email attachments, please. That's Ask WWCR at WWCR.com. Be listening for your questions to be answered on future editions of Ask WWCR. Well, that was uh, WWCR uh, information. And uh, that's uh, going to be for me for tonight. And I'm going to head tail to the, take a hit to sack there. I'm getting tired and been working on run <clears throat> that radio all dang day. The one down here. Oh, where is it? That one right there. This one's starting to go. But this one here took, took all day getting, getting all the wires nice and wrapped. This is the one I just got today. <clears throat> I just had to put just a drop of oil or something in it just to make it to spin. But uh, either than that, the radio's in really good shape. Uh, that's, that's the thing. When these radios sit, uh, everything, like, there's no bearings or anything or bushing or just a shaft that goes into the encoder. That's it. There's no, there's no nothing holds oil. So I just sprayed it with the oxid and uh, hope for the best and put some uh, what is that stuff there silicone spray grease or whatever I don't know I mean like this one here I, I took totally apart I mean this is like 10 times better than it, the other one is right now this one spins like it's glass brand new this one here is starting to they just freed it up it's just I don't even want to touch it no more. I'm just going to leave it alone. Leave it on this frequency and just have at it. But anyways, guys, 7-3, and uh, thanks for watching uh, some of the videos on these radios. I'm probably going to do more on these. Probably got to take this one apart now. Jeez. Uh, it's a never-ending thing. These older rigs, they need attention, just like, every, like anything else, like an old car or anything, you know. They just need attention. But anyways, guys, 7-3, and uh, this is it for, the, for this one. Adam Sam Radio going QRT 73. Have a good night.